What's up everybody? My name is Bernie Thrasher. Welcome back to the channel. Today, today we're going to talk about a budget bag. Ah, this bag right here. This is the Orca Tactical 34 liter. This one's 34 liter. Make a 40 liter. That's 34 liter. This is a five pouch, is what I call five pouch clamshell bag. It is, I orig, I've owned this thing for two years. Um, it's been absolutely kind of an amazing bag and it's not perfect for everything and it's, it's got its cons with its pros and we're gonna talk about those. But this is a, a great option if you are wanting to build a uh, a bug out bag, a get home bag, a camp bag, a anything bag, really. 34 liters is not huge, but it packs a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is a bag that I did purchase when I was doing bug out bags, which makes zero sense, right? Um, so I, I can tell you it will hold everything you needed. I had fire kits, I had food, I had my sleep system, everything. The only thing that wasn't in here is the sleeping bag itself. And that I always put on the top and my pack was ready. Uh, as you can see, you have compression straps. You can compress it down. It's also got the side ones. I just don't have them hooked up because a lot of stuff that was going in this bag has went into my organizer for my vehicle for my car camping adventures. So it's got some things in it, but this bag is still part of that kit. But mainly it's just going to carry my sleep system and my right now is the storage it's going to be the storage for my like overnight food you know um, that doesn't need to be in a fridge which a lot of it doesn't need to be in a fridge if it's overnight right anyway let's open it up i'll show you guys the pockets we're going to talk about the positives and the negatives i guess which there's not a lot of negatives okay it, a lot of it is is positives um as i said it, it it's a five pouch bag right so up front you have like your admin style pouches it's be good for a fire kit uh emergency kit if you open up this pouch this has spots for you know flashlights knives ferro rods i have some fire stuff in here because this was my kind of fire pouch it's got a spot for notepads um i have a couple ferro rods in there like a couple different ones just because i had so many extras um this pouch up here this pouch right now has a bivy in it and some glow glow sticks nothing major but you can put anything up here you got your uh velcro for patches it's got molly webbing all over it, everywhere, on the sides. I, I always hook my my knife out here. Um, it's a, it's actually an amazing bag for the cost, guys. This is a cheap bag. It is waterproof zippers. Overall, it's pretty waterproof. I did treat this again um, because I didn't know how well it's been treated. The zippers are like beat on them, pull on them. They're good. They're not going to lock up by any means. Uh, kind of a half clam on this pocket and here I have this is part of my sleep system this is my uh, my footprint this is actually this is a pretty cool thing I'm, I should make a video on it this is I can blow up my air mattress with this right it's USB chargeable it's battery powered it also hangs as a lantern it's kind of an amazing thing I'm going to talk about it in a different video I have cordage in here. I have my rainfly poles, my, like, as I said, my footprint and my sleep mattress. So here's my sleep pad. I have my footprint. I have some cordage and a rainfly for my actual tent, which is in this bag. Okay, all this fits in this bag. There is an admin. There's an admin pouch back here. You can put a couple flashlights, whatever you like, really. Um, all, all of this is, is, it's canvas, right? It's not a super heavy canvas. It's a, and the inside is ripstop. 
It is a clamshell bag, and here's where you get the clamshell pocket, right? Got a nice big pocket, a clamshell. That's why I like this. So right here, hoo -hoo -hoo, throwing it off. This is my pillow. I don't really like blow-up pillows. I found this company, Wise Owl, is a good pillow. It works great. It's my tent. Right? This is a good one-person tent. Works extremely well. Extremely waterproof. I live in the state of Oregon. You need that. Inside of the clamshell pouch, you have a netted pocket. And then on the back, you have a zippered pocket. And you have an elastic strap. So, hard to see. Zipper pocket up here, elastic strap here, because you can put a bladder bag in here. Up here, there is a hole. On top, there is a, a spout for that. So, you can run your hose out, clip it to your... And there is a spot on both slings. If you want to clip your pouch, there is a spot on both slings to do that. Um, it's a, I mean, this fits an entire sleep system except for the sleeping bag. And if I did use like a, uh, a more like a quilt, I could put it in here. I've done that. Um, zippers, once again, like I said, they're they're amazing. They are YKK style, waterproofed. Um, zipper, which is, is great. They all have pull tabs. You have one more pocket back here. This is for like a laptop or whatnot. It is a quarter of a clamshell, as you can see. Um, you could stick a gun in here, a gun, your carry pistol, whatever, if that's what you want. There's, there is padding back here. It is breathable mesh. It's not the best. This is not a frame pack at all. Um, as I said, you can run down to this D-ring with your bladder bag. It does have the uh, sternum strap. You you can hook up the waist strap or cummerbund. And uh, yeah, all in all, the only con is not a ton of padding back here. And that's why I put my tent where I put it because it's not hard. It's not like a rock in the middle of my body. Um, so that's why I put that there. That's going to keep my tent, but my tent's going to change. It's, it's a one-person tent, and I'd rather just go back, go to, to a large, two larger one-person or a two-person tent. A little more room to hold my stuff in it. Um, but this has worked great. This is, I had this all set up, like I said, emergency kit, fire kit, um, my everything, my sleeping bag on top, my sleep system. I had two green bags, a cook system, and my water system, and it hauled my food, and I, if I wanted to camp somewhere where my vehicle couldn't get, this was going to get me there, absolutely, and it worked great, and it still works great. Um, the reason I thought I'd make a video on that is because this bag is stupid cheap, really, under $50 for a very quality bag really it's not the best bag you can buy but uh, hence fifty dollars right um, at fifty dollars you're not buying the best bag you're buying a in my opinion this is a great bag for fifty dollars for sure definitely and you can't just you, can't, you just can't go wrong with it I mean I just picked this up on a whim thinking oh yeah you know I don't need anything crazy but I need a bag, right? And it has been an outstanding piece of kit. It really has. That fire, that fire outdoor multi-fuel stove was in here. My med kit was in here. My fire kit, my cook kit, my water purification kit. I had it all on this pack and it still wasn't overly huge and heavy. It's only 34 liters. Now, they make a 34 and a 40. I'm not sure if they make bigger than that. Both clamshells. You can get it in multiple colors. You can get it in black. You can get it in the uh, the desert tan. You know, whatever you want to get it in. I, for under 50 bucks, that's... I think it's like 47, 46 bucks, something like that. That's a killer deal, man. And you, you, can, you can do what I did. I had my knife over here. My knife set up was over here. I had a fishing pole I had over here and, and 
yeah. Hike into a small lake, Elkhorn or something. We have Elkhorn Lake up here. You can't drive to it for the most part. You can get close, but yeah, I mean, it works and it works. It works well, guys, really well. And look at it. It looks brand new. And trust me when I say it, I've used it. Like I've taken it out. I've used the hell out of it. It's a great bag. Anyway, it's gonna keep my sleep system. That's what this bag's gonna do. My sleep system, and like I said, probably overnight food, like backpacking style food. I like backpacking gear for a lot of my camping, and I tell you why. This is why I fit it in 34 liters. 34 liters. I fit a tent. The ground, the 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 footprint. Everything, the complete tent, the footprint, plus a fire pit, my cook system, everything was on this bag and in this bag. And it was 34 liters. That's why I like to use a lot of backpacking gear when I camp because it doesn't take up much space. If I fit all that in 34 liters here, this was in my truck. That's all I needed. And I could still adventure vehicle out of my truck by just using this bag. I just wanted a little more stuck to the truck. If I'm at the truck all the time, this is where I'm gonna go. But see the convenient part of that organizer, which is almost, I almost have it all done, filled the way I want it. The convenient part is the med kit comes off. When it comes off, it goes on here. The food things, they can come off and attach to this. If I want to get to a place that I can't drive to and I want all my stuff it comes right off of here attaches back to the molly on here and this is good to go right that's why I'm building another fire kit for this bag because I, I got a fire kit in this bag I'm gonna have a fire kit in this bag and uh, I'm not gonna worry about the emergency medical kit I have it here it's on a pull off I'll pull it off there I'll stick it in here where it used to go which was the next pocket down It'll sit, my, my outdoor stove, it'll go right in there. I, everything goes right back to this, which makes this system for me uh, amazing, right? It's an amazing system. So, I know today, quick video, quick, dirty, in a hurry. This bag is the Orca Tactical. It's, this version, 34 liters, is, uh, is under $50. The 40 liter might be under $50. I like smaller bags. If, if I had more stuff or larger stuff to carry, obviously I would I would have went with a bigger bag, but I wanted to see originally, my whole plan was, can I get it into 34 liters if it's a clamshell? And by all means, yes, I had this thing fully loaded. And fully loaded, it still wasn't that heavy because most of the stuff is backpacking gear, right? Backpacking stoves, backpacking cook kit, based off of that kind of stuff. I'm gonna sit down for a minute here. But for me, that that worked great, right? Like, it, and it still works great. It stands on its own for the most part. I mean, when you're talking under $50 and you look at, you watch these videos, all these videos are like bug out bags and stuff. And they're coming at you with bags that are 100 plus dollars that's going to do the exact same thing this bag does and most of those bags actually aren't clamshelled which i like the clamshell because you can get into it see where everything is you know where everything is you're not stuffing so if i ended up really needing that stove it's not at the bottom underneath of the priority things first right so i don't have with a clamshell bag you don't have to be like okay because it's a stuff bag, I gotta stuff this in. I'm gonna grab, this is more grabbable stuff at the top. This is last minute stuff at the bottom. You know, like you don't have to do that with a clamshell bag. You build it as this way and not stuffing. So stuff you're gonna grab quick, maybe a snack, your fire kit, you know, emergency kit underneath that. You have some admin stuff like pens, pencils. It, that's, that's the way I like to go with it. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. I'm gonna, I'll link this bag in the description below so you guys can check it out. Um, I am an Amazon affiliate. You don't get a lot when somebody uses a link. But if you go through my link and you do order, I do get something for the channel. And everything, anything that has to do with the channel always comes back into the channel. Um, 
I'm having I'm selling a few knives. I, I I have a I have a few knives up. I have two right now right here. The um these are brand new, right? Brand new, never carried, never used because I had others. Um they are Jack Wolf knives. They come with everything. Everything that's in here, the pog, the towel, the sticker, it's all in here. One is the Javelina Jack, first run, uh, only run right now. I have a custom Northwoods leather slip. The knife is, it is brand new, man. It's going to be hard to see because my light's not really set up for that, but uh, absolutely amazing knives, guys. I'm having a hard time getting rid of this one. I don't know why people just do not gravitate to the Javelina, I guess. Um, but I'm literally asking 150 bucks. It's it's 200 brand spanking new, and this is brand spanking new, not used. And the other one is the Gunslinger in Bazooka Pink. And this knife is amazing. It really is. It only drops when the blade is so light, and I, I haven't switched or really broke this in. But it is an amazing knife. Um, and I know people are like, well, Thrasher, why are you selling it if it's an amazing knife? Well, I need to, I need, I need to, like, like, running a channel is not free, right? I don't get any free products. I don't have any sponsorships. Uh, I'm not that size, and, I, and I'm just now getting back out, right? With the help of you guys hitting the like button and sharing. That breaks the algorithm, algorithm and uh, that allows me to start getting my videos out of my channel back to being growing. When I was a knife channel, yes, I had a couple companies reaching out. Not many, but I had a few. Um, and I got some knives to review at that point. But as my channel sits now, I'm not a knife channel. I will review knives, but... I'll make a video. I've been asked why I haven't yet. And I, I do have a knife review coming of the Devo Knives Stout V2. And it's not really a review. It's kind of a comparison to the Stout V1. And the differences. Because there's a lot. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Get out there and do things. You know, because that's what matters. Um, yeah. I love you guys. And... Uh, if you want to get a hold of me about a, a blade, uh, my Instagram's linked to my channel. Also, my email. You can you can use either one, email, Instagram, or if you follow me on Facebook and know me on Facebook, you can you hit me up there. Um, the Gunslinger, I'm asking 300. It is brand new. It was 350 brand new. It is brand new. It's never used, never carry. Comes with everything. There's not a mark on it. 300 is is an honest price, but it's or best offer Anyway guys, I hope you're having a fantastic week And I'll catch you guys in the next one